What is up guys, Nerf Max here. Today I am back with more Nerf gun comparison videos. Today I'm gonna to be comparing three shotguns. Two of them you may, or three of them you have seen in my videos. One was lagging and so you're gonna see it again. So you can see the full review of it. The guns that we are gonna be comparing today, one of them was in my video last night, if you check that out. If you do, it is my ultimate, it's my Nerf gun arsenal that I would take with me into a Nerf war. Now, here's the, so we're going to be creating the Nerf Sling Fire. Zombie Strike, not End Strike Elite or anything. The Nerf End Strike Elite Sonic Fire Barrel Break IX-2. And the Nerf Zombie Strike Rough Cut Z Squad 2x4. We're going to be start, starting with the Rough Cut. Now, if you're wondering why this isn't the blue one that I have, it's because this is a repaint of it. For Zombie Strike, and that this is part of the Z Squad. If you don't know what that means, it's basically a bunch of repaints. They did it for the um, the Long Shot, the Magnus, and this gun. The Magnus and the um, and this gun came in a two pack. I don't have the Magnus; I only have the Mega version. But this one came in a two pack with an orange one. But I gave I gave the orange one to a friend of mine. Maybe you'll see him. Maybe I'll try to get him in a couple of videos for Nerf Wars and stuff like that. Anyway, this gun is a really, really nice gun. I do definitely like the green on it. Anyway, we're going to be going over the pros and cons of this gun. Pros of this gun, it has great ranges. Also, pump action shotgun. Also, it fires two darts at once, so... It unloads two darts at once. So... A con for this gun is that if you put a bad dart in it, the dart will just pop out, and uh, if you shoot it, it'll drop like a couple feet in front of you, and that's the AR problem, air restrictors. And I actually did take the air restrictors out of my Nerf strong arm, uh, and that, as the sling fire falls over, uh, basically, uh, they're little sticks, and I wish I had them with me right now, but I threw them away. Uh, so basically, there are little sticks that restrict the air. So if you have a bad dart, they won't go very far. Anyway, th that's the only complaint I have for this gun and the regular Elite version. Anyway, that is this gun. Let's move on to the Barrel Break IX-2. This gun was in a target practice that I did last weekend. Uh, where I was at one of my dad's job sites. Uh, and I uh, fired this gun and the strong arm. Uh, check those out. Uh, so if you click on my channel and go down, it, you'll see Barrel Break and Strong Arm Target Practice. Anyway, this is the Sonic Fire Edition. So that means it's it's a Sonic version, so you can see like the internals and stuff like that. Then you could all, and it's red for fire because they also because they did a Sonic edition for the Edge Strike Elite. Anyway, pros for this gun is that uh, the ranges are okay. Also, it's a uh, it shoots two darts out. You can shoot two darts at once, kind of like the rough cut. Or if you pull the trigger half back, you can shoot one at a time. Also, another pro for this gun is that it has it has the one tactical rail on the top right here, and it comes with a dart storage. This can hold up to eight darts. Currently, I only have seven because I lost the eight dart the while the eight dart the eighth dart a while ago. Excuse me, uh, but. No, it's a really nice thing. It takes the... It's like... These are regular elite bullets, except they have the red foam. Now, for a con, uh, sometimes if the darts stay in the gun for a while, they will just pop out. I don't think it's an AR problem. Maybe it's just... Uh, you have to shoot it after you put the darts in. And also, if you don't know how you break open the barrel, because it's a double barrel shotgun, you press this lever, and it's ambidextrous, so if you're a lefty, you can uh, do that, or if you're a righty, which I am, you can do it on this side, but if you're a lefty, you do it on this side. And then you just slide it out, and then you can pop up the barrel. And I think this button right here is where you access your jams. I'm not really sure. Anyway... That is the that is the barrel break. Let let's move on to the final gun, the Nerf Zombie Strike Sling Fire. Now this gun can either be a shotgun or a 
uh, rightful. I really don't care what it is. It's just a good movie prop if you're, like, cowboy style. And if you have a hammer shot and you have a cowboy hat, you can use this as your rifle. Anyway, pros for this gun is that it's got great ranges and great accuracy. I love the ranges and accuracy on this gun. Also, it's sling, it's sling action, so as I fire a dart, it's a really nice gun to use. I mean, it's just fun to like do tricks. I'm not going to do it because sometimes it jams. That's a con for me. Now for the cons, uh, if you put a bad dart in it, uh, the dart will just pop out and uh, fall in front of you. Also, it jams a ton. I had that jam. I've had it jam once when I accidentally cocked it when it was already primed, and I was like, "Dang it!" But anyway, all right. Now for my final thoughts for each of these guns. So, all three of these can be sh shotguns, except this can be a rifle. Uh, I know I said shotgun in the beginning, but anyway, now. This is a Nerf gun comparison war. So I can only choose one of these guns. They're both, they're all three of these are good for pri for backup or maybe primary weapons. But if I had to choose which one I would take with me into a Nerf war, it would be the sling fire. Why? Because it's got sling action and the ranges are really, really good. All right, thank you for watching Nerf War Max Nerf Gun Comparison videos. If you liked it, make sure you leave a like. And if you want to see more comparison videos, make sure you hit subscribe. Because I got more of these coming your way. See you guys later.